Hello everyone, this is Prof Mobius and today I'm going to demonstrate a new interface for OPIS. So I'm in my um, test world right now. So as usual, as before, you need to uh, to get OP to be able to use it. Uh, it's, this is going to change. I'm going to put uh, together um, a way to get uh, elevated privileges for a few players. So everyone, well, player player you choose can uh, use OPIS without having to uh, be uh, OP on the server. So the main difference is now there is one command called slash OPIS. If you run it, you are going to get a new uh, control panel with um, a few tabs, each tab corresponding to one of the old screen I had in game. So for example, here we have um, the amount of entities par type. So you can see we have right now 206 entities and you can filter it so it doesn't show um, it like stack stuff like uh, drop item and everything. If you hit refresh, it's going to pull new data from the server. So, for example, the creeper, you have uh, a bit less. Same if you uh, press filter again, it's going to refresh uh, the values. And we have now three other, uh, four other tabs, which will contain uh, the data from a piece itself. So, first of all, you need to refresh. This is uh, equivalent to um, an OPIS uh, start command. So it's going to take a bit of time to be able to um, to profile and pull the data from the server. I'm going to put some kind of um, progress bar later so you can know uh, at which point. Oh, here we go. So now we have the complete list of uh, tile entity on the server. Well, not the complete list, we have uh, the top uh, 100. So we can see the type, uh, which mode, dimension, position, update time. It's possible to sort them by uh, name or by mode. You can uh, sort them back uh, by update time, like this. You have uh, also now the entity timing. So same thing uh, by type, um, the idea of the entity, the position, the update time, and uh, the number of uh, data points. Here we go. Uh, the handlers, it's a new feature in uh, OPIS 1.1.2. Uh, 1 it's uh, basically it's measuring uh, things where ch not uh, tile entity and entities. It's uh, tick handlers. So things that are like um, handling server side data without being part of um, the world itself. So here we have it. And chunk timing. So, which used to be only based on tile entity, now it's based on tile entity and entities. So you can see, for example, this chunk have six, enti six entities in it. So it's the slowest uh, chunk, but we can see that um, this chunk is the biggest, uh, the chunk with the most tile entities, and have a take time of uh, 36 um, microseconds. Or we have like uh, a chunk with uh, 15 entities which have uh, an update time of uh, 10 microseconds. You could previously uh, center the map and uh, teleport directly to a tile entity, so you can still do that if I choose, for example, my Jabba barrel and uh, press center map. It's going to pull the data from the server, center the map here. So here is my um, chunk with my barrel. And now if I click on teleport, it's going to teleport me directly to the barrel, as you can see. So I was on the map, so it didn't really show. But if I choose, for example, uh, a mutton, I can teleport to it. Yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, I teleported to them in the mutton, in the ship. So here it is. And uh, the same way, if you want to see where is this spider, you can just center the map on it, and it's going to pull the data and show you the chunk. So, for example, uh, this ship here, or um, this one, 
or just teleport on uh, on the barrel. Here we go. So you have the basic functionalities from um, about seven or eight different commands from uh, previous Opis, all in a nice and uh, compact interface, which is still tied to um, to the normal uh, to the client. But I have planned for um, to make it independent from a client later on, so you can just like monitor your server without having to uh, actually log in. So thanks for your ch watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Cheers!